On the side of the fireplace there, you can see a gray box bolted to the wall. A few people have asked me about this, so I'm going to show you what it does. Now I'll readily admit it's not quite in keeping with the traditional Welsh country cottage, but it is however extremely useful because it gives me an alternate fuel source for my stove. As you can see it's nothing out of the ordinary for a stove. It can burn on coal or wood, but now also it can burn on oil. That's right, it's a machine I've made for pumping oil into the stove. Let me show you how it works. At the base of the machine is a small antique milk churn only really holds about two litres of fluid and in there at the moment is a mix of kerosene and red diesel. A six millimetre diameter copper pipe draws fuel from the milk churn up into the machine. Under the machine are two terminal posts to accept an incoming power supply. 12 volts DC works best but it'll go down to about 10 volts or up to about 20 volts. Although I could use a small motorbike battery, my power supply of choice is this old CB power transformer. It's quiet and reliable. Let's open it up and have a look inside. As you can see, it's super simple. The fuel is drawn up through the pipe at the bottom via this electric pump here and is then pushed up the pipe here, which goes off to the stove. This particular pump is not like a normal fuel pump that you apply power to and then it just continuously uh, moves fuel through. This is the kind of pump you get on a diesel parking heater, like a Eberspatcher or a Webasto, one of the many Chinese copies of those things. And they work on pulses, so it's called a dosing pump. So every time a pulse of current runs down the wire in either polarity, the pump will send a predetermined amount of fuel up the line. It's only really a few raindrops worth. So the more often the pump receives an electrical pulse, the more fuel gets delivered to the stove. If you can see this black plastic box here, inside is a little motor and gearbox combination that looks identical to this spare one I've got here. And when electricity is applied to the two terminals, the output shaft spins at about 20 RPM. That means it takes approximately three seconds for the output shaft to do a full rotation. You can see glued on the end of this output shaft here is what looks like a saw blade that I've cut out of a piece of clear perspex. And as this disc turns, the teeth engage and disengage with the switch, this micro switch here, bolted onto the case. And the micro switch going on and off effectively creates a pulse to the dosing pump there to send fuel up the line to the stove. To give you some control of the speed of this, on the front of the case is a, a small adjustment knob there, which is attached to this very simple DC motor controller from eBay. So you provide constant DC voltage to two of the terminals, and out of here comes a control voltage control current to the motor inside the box. So if I just turn this on slowly, you'll see the wheel starting to turn. But the further round I turn the wheel, the faster it goes. run very slowly if you want to. Or 
or it can be stopped altogether. You'll notice inside there's some of this blue camping mat. This is really just for a bit of sound deadening because the, the pump and my timer mechanism is a little bit noisy. Over at the stove you can see the pipe running to the top. I just move this kettle. Very simply it just runs to a small hole on the top and goes through the top of the casing. You can't see much inside but there's just a small nozzle um, just inside the case that drizzles fuel onto whatever it is you're burning inside. I'll just give you an example by turning it on now. As you can see it instantly bursts into flames. If I turn it off again, it'll die down. So I can therefore control the amount of oil quite successfully that's coming into the stove. And again, the stove is running quietly. I turn the pump on. The flames liven up. So why would you even want such a thing? Well, for a start, it's quite useful as a way of getting rid of old oil, like used cooking oil, or maybe old engine oil, or kerosene, or diesel, or paraffin. Any of those will work with the system fine. Because the stove hasn't been modified to be exclusively an oil burner, I can still have a nice wood fire or a coal fire in the evening if I want, or I can use the oil instead, or as well as. When the pump is active and it's drizzling fuel onto the hot coals or the burning wood, I tend to find that the solid fuel itself burns much more slowly and most of the heat comes from the oil burning on top. This way I can have a hearty fire burning all day on a base of just a few pieces of heartwood with no topping up required. A very popular type of design for burning oil on a stove is to have a tank placed above the stove and for the fuel to drip down through a pipe under gravity. Such a system is obviously much simpler and requires no electricity and is also totally silent in operation. But I've opted for a fuel pump based system because I like the precise electronic control and also it removes the risk of any kind of runaway situation with fuel pouring uncontrollably into the fire. The disadvantage of a system like this is firstly it does make a ticking noise although no louder than a grandfather clock. And secondly, it does require a power supply. Well, I hope this video has been interesting to you and perhaps provide you with some inspiration. Do please consider pressing the like button and subscribing to my channel. It's a great encouragement for making more videos. Speaking of which, I hope to see you in the next one soon. Bye bye.